Hi, I'm Jack. Welcome to the Attract Capital webinar series. Today I'm here with Attract Capital CEO and founder, David Barnett. Hi everybody. Today, our webinar title is The M&A Blueprint for Success. So Dave, I would think that most middle market M&A transactions are successful. In your 35 years of experience in the middle market, is this the case? That's a really good question, Jack. I would say it really depends and because it, it's based on a multitude of factors as to whether or not the transaction will be successful. Um, a lot of the issues you encounter in middle market M&A are within your control, particularly during the integration, but a lot of them are outside of your control. And sort of it, they, it, it reduces down to being sort of knowable things and then unknowable things. And so a lot of times you have to close the deal in order to know what some of the things are that you really couldn't be aware of before. Um, a lot of it boils down to the level of preparedness of the acquirer and the resources of the acquirer. If you have the right resources, you have the right level of preparedness and you've done your homework, it's more likely to be a success. And I would say, by and large, it really depends on, is the M&A transaction based on operational or market benefits, or is it based more on financial engineering? If it's financial engineering, it's probably less likely to work. If it's based on the former, it's more likely to work. And so Dave, what do you see are important factors in the middle market m and I would say that um, some of the things that uh, you have, some of the things that, uh, some of the important factors are underestimating, people don't properly estimate the, the ability to change a direction of a company. They think it's going in one direction and they want to take it in another direction. They don't always think about the degree of difficulty of doing that. That's number one. In, a, in addition to that, a corollary would be getting the people that work at the company on board with the new plan of doing something different that they had been doing for so many years under prior ownership. Um, I also say a lot of the, another key issue is most people don't appreciate the level of investment needed to accelerate growth in a new direction. They think it just could magically happen just by saying, we're gonna go in this direction, but there's always strategic areas of investment that have to happen. And I would also say that a lot of, you have to look at the systems, the underlying systems, the ERP systems, the IT systems, the uh, human capital management systems that the company have in place. And a lot of times people aren't all that focused on it. And um, what is your blueprint for success in middle market m and well, it's hard to boil it down, Jack, but I've got five things that would make it a success uh, on my blueprint. And I think as a buyer, you wanna know why the seller is selling. You wanna know the motivation of the seller, and you wanna make sure that the seller will, will be supportive and will give signals to the employees that are gonna get to continue to work there that you're a good buyer and that he trusts you so that everyone will be pulling in the same direction, in, in the same direction so that there's alignment. You want to be able to get deep into the culture and you want to know the behavior of the people, the key people of the organization, because that has keys to understanding the future behavior of the organization and how they'll respond to change. You want to contextualize the deal operationally as opposed to just looking at it financially. So you want to think like an operator. How are the customers going to react? How is the production going to react? How are the suppliers going to react? So you want to look at it in an operationally holistic manner. You want to build it, that's number three. Number four is you want to build in a lot of conservatism with respect to the timelines and the cost factors of the change investment that you want to make. And fifth, you absolutely want to bring in your own people to oversee the company as it's going through its change process um, or people to actually run it. So you need to have your own people in there. So if you, the blueprint is this, knowing the sellers, knowing the key people in the culture, you want to contextualize it operationally, not financially. You want to build in conservatism with respect to the timeline and the investments and bring in your own people. And if you do all that, you have a pretty good chance for success. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time on the Attract Capital webinar series. Take care.